threat to the United States is a threat to Canada, to our trade, to our interests, to our values, to our common civilization. Does the deal mean a threat to national sovereignty? Well, I know some people don't like it. It's a loss of national sovereignty, but it is a simple reality. So we commit to expanding our management of the border to the concept of a North American perimeter. That means working more closely to improve border security with better screening, new technologies, and information sharing among law enforcement, uh, as well as identifying threats early. Hello everyone, this is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. In the last few weeks, the agenda for a North American Union has been fast-tracking its way under the radar in regards to the security perimeter deal that is currently going on down at the border of Canada and the United States. This is precisely the deal that was outlined by the Canadian Council of Chief Executives and the Council on Foreign Relations back in 2005 when they released their document titled Building Towards a North American Community. In just six days from now, President Obama, Stephen Harper and Felipe Calderon are going to be meeting in Honolulu to figure out a way to sell this idea to the public. Officials say the two leaders will launch formal negotiations to make the flow of people, goods and services much easier while enhancing perimeter security. Sources say the leaders want negotiators to conclude a sweeping deal within the year. It would mean joint border inspection facilities to speed up the movement of goods the relocation of U.S. food inspectors at Canadian plants and vice versa, greater sharing of intelligence, and harmonizing regulations on everything from food to manufactured goods. This deal will no doubt pave the way for the NAFTA superhighway, which is currently under construction. The Canadian hub of this trade corridor is called Centre Port Canada, and it is located in Winnipeg. Some of the things that are going to be called for in regards to this deal is real-time tracking of all travelers through your enhanced driver's license, which now contain a radio frequency identification chip. There have also been reports about the Americans monitoring the border with military predator drones. Well, you've probably seen one of these in the news on some military mission in a country far away. The United States uses remote-controlled aircraft to patrol part of the border with Canada as well. But as our Red Sharon discovered, these predator drones are expanding their range in a big way. They could soon be conducting 24-hour surveillance from coast to coast. The Americans focus on security and the Canadians focus on access. So now, the two sides are trying to figure out how they can have both. The declaration marks the start of this endeavor, not the end. This whole agenda is being sold to us on this idea that it's going to be beneficial for both nations for trade and also security at the border. At the same time that all of this is going on, the federal government has just announced its biggest trade deal since 1994's NAFTA, which is called CETA, the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. This is being sold to us on the idea that it will eliminate trade tariffs and lower the costs of goods and services. If this has anything like the Chapter 11 clause in the NAFTA agreement, the European Union will essentially be able to sue the Canadian government should it implement uh, new changes to protect Canadian standards. NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, was set up to fail. And there is no doubt that the CETA deal will also be set up to fail so that they can introduce this idea of the European Union and the North American Union joining together into a transatlantic union. Globalization is and always has been the problem. Let's not forget, it's all about problem, reaction, solution, or order out of chaos. You create a problem, economic turmoil in Greece, in Italy, all over Europe. You then generate your desired reaction, which is often, this is unacceptable, what are you going to do about it? And then you offer your solution, the centralization of power, into fewer hands. If you would like to learn more about the North American Union agenda and how it will affect you, and more importantly, what you can do about it, please check out our film, United We Fall, Three Nations, Two Sides, One Union.
Our economies now are very integrated. Our societies are growing increasingly integrated. What's needed now is a North American idea for all three. Uh, an idea that not only defines our shared history, but a shared destiny. Will there be a North American Union? Do you believe there will be a North American Union? It is the merger of the United States, Mexico, and Canada into one super country. I had the idea, the inspiration to call it the Amero. The Amero is the proposed new currency for the North American community. That sounds an awful lot like a North American Union to me. Canadians are saying no to the North American Union and yes to Canada's sovereignty. I find it amusing when people put sovereignty as in a kind of crystal jar and say, well, this is the ultimate. Canadians, Americans, and Mexicans will lose their sovereignty. The Europeans have thrown sovereignty out the window. Maybe national sovereignty is not such a good thing. To understand what's happening, we should look at what has occurred under the Security and Prosperity Partnership. These three guys are cops, everybody! It was implemented in a manner that closed it off to public scrutiny. And the only people who were invited into the room were the largest CEOs of the largest businesses in the three countries. Our country is being defined and shaped by corporations. It's not going to stop at the North American Union. It's going to be one further step along the road to one world government. We need a world of shared global rules founded on shared global values. It is a big idea, a new world order. New world order, one world government. <laughs> one world government. Uh, um, right now, there's a war on for your mind. We are losing our nation before our very eyes. People are slowly beginning to, to wake up to the fact that the fourth estate um, has simply not done their job. The people will resist. The people will stand up against them and not tolerate their power grab for the whole world. All it takes is for enough people to step out of the system to cause a crash. It is just a conspiracy theory. Who cares if they call you conspiracy theorists? This is the truth. You guys are my family. You guys are my friends. You guys are my companions in this info war. I personally think it will come. It will come.